to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. President Hamaliyev signed an executive order on the additional measures in regards to the construction of Nizamiyali Lambali Azad Kensar Hanbeli Highway of Sabirabad region. According to the executive order, 1,500,000 in minutes from the reserve fund of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan envisaged in 2015 state budget of the Republic of Azerbaijan is allocated to Sabirabad region executive power to continue the construction of Nizamiyali Lambali Azad Kensar Hanbeli Highway connecting 12 residential settlements with 20 2,000 inhabitants. A meeting of the expert group of agreement of the draft documents on cooperation in security took place in the CIS Executive Committee. According to the information from the organization's headquarters, during the meeting the experts reviewed the draft decisions on the main organizations on preparing the specialist in demanding military metrology meteorological support of the armed forces of the CIS member states. The draft agreement on cooperation in the field of geo-information exchange among armed forces of the CIS member states was also discussed. Agenda of the 70th session of the UN General Assembly was announced, and all general discussions will be held in the framework of this session. UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon will deliver a speech about the annual activities of the organization in front of the member countries. This year, a record number of state and government heads will be held in the United Nations headquarters. 155 out of 193 member countries have already confirmed their participation. Summit on post-2015 sustainable development will also be held at the General Assembly. The summit is considered one of the the main events in the agenda of the session. During the summit, UN member countries will adopt a new global agenda of the development of the next 15 years. A visiting director of Eastern Europe and Central Asia of UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office Michael Tatan met with the Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the State Committee for Refugees and IDPs Ali Hassanov. Chairman of the State Committee for Refugees and IDPs Ali Hassanov stated that Armenian Azovjan Nagorno Karabakh conflict is the main issue of Azerbaijan. The chairman brought to the attention the works of President Ilham Aliyev and international organizations in the direction of improving the living conditions of refugees and IDPs. Director of Eastern Europe and Central Asia Directorate of UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office Michael Tatham in its turn praised the rapid economic development, the international prestige of Azerbaijan and the taken steps to improve the social conditions of refugees and IDPs. During the meeting, the sides discussed the current situation on the solution of Armenian Azerbaijan Nagorno Karabakh conflict and duties related to the settlement of problems of our compatriots. Fact final mission of the Social Affairs, Health and Sustainable Development Committee of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe visit Milimijlis. The sides discussed ways to resolve the problem of Sarsang Water Reservoir. Worried about the dangers that may arise regarding Sarsang Water Reservoir under the Armenian occupation, Azerbaijan wants this issue to be solved as soon as possible. Head of International Relations and Interparliamentary Relations Committee of Milli Majlis, Samad Seedov, spoke about the influence of Sarsang Water Reservoir to the socio-economic situation. According to him, fact-finding mission of the Social Affairs, Health and Sustainable Development Committee of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe cannot carry out monitoring in the area because of occupation. Armenia tries to prevent these efforts and divert the attention of the international community. On contrary, Azerbaijan says in all statements that it supports peace and development. Head of the fact-finding mission of the Social Affairs, Health and Sustainable Development Committee of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, Milica Markovic, also said that they intend to investigate the effects of the reservoir to the local socio-economic situation and added that they applied to the Armenian government for this issue several times. According to her, so far they could not get a positive answer from Armenia. It was also outlined that the problem regarding Sarsang water reservoir arose from military aggression of Armenia against Azerbaijan and poses a serious threat in the region, both humanitarian and ecological. Central Election Commission started an awareness campaign on the upcoming parliamentary elections. Specialized courses on election law are taught to the member of district elections commissions in the capital. An experience exchange event was held with the participation of members of commission, secretaries and members of precinct election commissions in first Binagada District Election Commission No. 8. Secretary of Central Election Commission Mikhail Rahimov spoke about the election experience of Azerbaijan. The chair of first Binagada District Election Commission No. 8, Nati Galiev, in his turn informed the audience about the preparation works of the upcoming elections. It was underlined that 46,835 
electors are registered in the district. On the total, 39 precinct election commissions are ready to operate and one will be established one day prior to the elections, as set by legislation. Other speakers exchanged ideas and shared their experiences. Within the framework of the campaign, another event took place in Narmanov Nizami District Election Commission No. 18. The chair, Islam Radov, said that the preparatory works gained impetus and outlined that more than 210 members of the commission are benefiting from the campaign. He said that 27,282 electors are registered in the district. On the total, 35 precinct election commissions are ready to operate. It was added that elections is a very important event in social political life of the country. As a part of the campaign, the representatives of Central Election Commission, heads of local executive power of districts, courts, prosecution and police authorities will deliver lectures and presentations. A seminar was organized in Garada District Election Commission No. 11. The District Election Commission consists of 37 precincts and 43,752 electors are registered here. Member of Central Election Commission Isibar Guliev attached great importance to the upcoming elections informed the participants about the awareness campaign. The chair of Gardakh District Election Commission No. 11, Azar Aliskerov, brought to the attention the preparatory works. Within the framework of the event, the issues on the improvement of the electoral list, transportation, storage and provision of safety of official election documents were discussed. That was all for today. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye.